Hey, Noise Nation, we're here with the voice of the Iron Pigs, Matt Province. Uh, Matt, what, what's your overall impression of the new uniform designs? Fun. I mean, fun, isn't that kind of what we do and we've done throughout the course of our existence? And I think that, you know, I saw them on paper and I liked them, but when you see them in person, you start to realize that they, the uniform is like our, our organization, the personality. I mean, the bacon piping is awesome. I mean, looking down and seeing that strip of bacon looks really cool. I love the, the, the logo on the black cap for the Friday nights with the molten that's almost like 3D, the way you look at the cap, just dripping off the logo um, and I think it's time for a change I mean not only for us but for our fans too because fans love new gear let's face it and now they're gonna have a whole new line of several different looks that they can choose and decide which one suits them the best we heard during the program that that this change was in in process for a while and we had a little bit of inside information not enough but a little bit that said that things were starting last fall with it and, and so on how do you keep everybody quiet on this I threaten them. <laughs> Who doesn't reply to threats, you know? And, you know, Kurt's a great leader and, and a nice guy, but when he looks at you and tells you something, you know, he can be intimidating just like anybody else. All right. You know, obviously the goal was to, to make it what it was today, which was to keep everything close to the chest, knowing that uh, if you could get everything done and make it all presented at one time without rumors or pictures leaking, it would have the biggest bang. And I think today with the media here and all the models, it, it had the biggest bang. Now, on the road, lots of times we don't, we get to see it sometimes, MILB.TV, or we listen to you on the radio and you often describe which uniform they're wearing. On the road, they don't always wear the road uniform. Yeah. No, I, road, I wish they would more. Yeah. They, they, they wear their road one and then they'll wear the Sunday one and then they'll wear the, the red one. Uh, and I always I always kind of figured that was because of the laundry. Yeah, they can't, you know, they got to get the, they got to get them cleaned and, and why not just, why not, you know, use up those those uniforms. See, this, so, is, this is why he's, he's, you're the most educated amongst the group right now because this guy would think of something like that. Me, I couldn't come up with that. I wouldn't have idea. No, but, but, but honestly, the start Starting pitcher each night has a jersey that he feels the most comfortable in. Oh, and when he okay. wants, you know, if it's the manager's cool saying, hey, what you want, we'll do it. That happens a lot. We also wore our blue BP tops a lot on the road because during yes. the summer they're very lightweight. I don't think yeah, they're, they're the, the most aesthetically pleasing yeah. in terms of look, but the guys like the feel, and that's one of the reasons why they've worn that quite a bit. So now we have a Friday outfit, and we've got we've got the Saturday and Sunday and, and all of that. Do you anticipate that they'll be wearing, you know, some of those alternates on the road as well, just like they have in the past? Yeah. I would assume so, because you're going to take your Saturday jersey with you like you used to take in the past. Uh, I, I envision seeing a lot of that, the road jersey and the aforementioned blue jersey as well. Uh, beyond that, not really sure what they're going to want to do this year, um, but either way, it's going to give us a look. And I think if other teams' fans see this team who in four days wears three or four different uniforms, they're going to say, man, those Iron Pigs do it all. I mean, it's going to be impressive. Maybe. They might go online and buy them too, right? Um, Let's so, hope so. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, but some of them have different pants now. With the, you know, we just talked about that. So, yeah, that would, be, that would require a lot more packing. So, so yeah, maybe they'll cut it down to like three. And, well, and then, like we're also started. fortunate, uh, Cram, that we have a ownership group that understands that sometimes you got to pay a little bit to kind of make yourself look the best. And look, you got to buy jerseys and pants for set uniform looks. It gets a little cost prohibitive for some of the other teams, yeah. quite frankly. Yeah. Um, but the ones that we have, will certainly make sure that we wear them here, and uh, we hope the reception is as good by the fans out you know, at Coca Cola Park as it was today here at the club level. Now, I've been asking everybody, what, what's your favorite? Of the new ones, which, which one's your favorite? I kind of got a feeling before when you were talking, but... Well, it's funny because I'm the guy who I started calling them pigs just because when you're a broadcaster, you're looking for ways to shorten it up. You do game notes, you can fit more information in. If you can just shorten up Iron Pigs the Pigs. So I kind of dig that, but for me, seeing the cap on the black Friday night uniform, uh, dripped in molten, 3D, glowing a little bit, that's pretty cool. And I think that our fans are going to find it's pretty cool. And if we took an informal bet, which one's going to be the most popular hat, I'm going to go with the black one, even though the kids are going to like that piece of bacon. Yeah, yeah, they, they might. And uh, do you have a least favorite? No. No, I would I would have I would have used my power which isn't very existent, but I would have used whatever I had to say, no, not with this one, not with this one. Yeah. Not even great. Well we were, we've been talking about it. If there wasn't a least favorite one, there's gonna be one that's the least popular, but that's good because that gets people to talk about it. If everybody loved everything, then that would be too easy. Yeah. You need something that's the least favorite, so my least favorite is the bacon hat. Although I haven't had a chance to see it up close yet, maybe it'll grow on me, but but yeah. not a big fan of the bacon hat. It's just kinda like, I could see that being for the kids though. I could see that being for like like the, the, the teenage kids thinking that's pretty cool, whereas guys like you know me, you know, sorry, Cam, we're getting up there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, might not be as no popular. Boy, <laughs> no boy, no boy, and I'm not saying I don't like bacon. The, the bacon part of it is good, just yeah, not yeah. on my hat. Yeah. Maybe, maybe on my bird. I could buy it. I could buy it. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. We'll look forward to seeing your reports from Clearwater. Uh, and uh, we've already been following some of the guys down there. And I know the minor leaguers report this weekend, I think. Uh, so, uh, so we'll look forward to hearing about
about that as we start to speculate on the roster. Thanks a lot, Graham. I appreciate it. Remember Noise Nation, but also too, smell the change.com. <laughs> Thanks.